don't care who likes it or not. As long as we know it's the truth. As long as we know it's the truth. Yo, what up? This is Hopson with Funk Volume giving a shout out to Hard Knock TV. What up? It seems like the music has changed a little bit. Is, is there, was there a moment of clarity? Or? Yeah, when I went on tour, when I went on tour last year, that was the start. Um, I saw all these kids that really, they almost praised me. They almost, they were like praising me and it blew my mind because this is stuff, I mean, it wasn't like millions of people or even thousands. It was just like hundreds of kids, but they were, um, they almost like worshiped me and I, I was looking at it and it threw my mind off because I've never even been in that type of situation or position in my whole entire life. I've seen it like with Michael Jackson and like Eminem watching DVDs, but I've never actually been the guy where kids look up to me and like, man, yo, and they're just like, like starstruck and shocked that I'm right there in their presence. And I was like, wow, what's, what the heck is going on right now? Like, what, what did I do to, to get right here? It's crazy. And a lot, a lot of the people that look up to me are the, the people that my music appeals to. They're like, I feel like they're in a place in life where they're, they're very confused, they're struggling, and they're lost. A lot of them are dropping out of school. They're heavily into drugs and you know and they also but they also want they want happiness i can tell when i, t I talk to a lot of fans after shows or before shows and they they want to be happy but they're just like almost their life is going to a dead end and i, I want to just put that ladder down so they can climb up over the wall and go somewhere else and, and enjoy themselves so i don't i don't want to tell i don't want to brag about money and be like yeah i'm this and that and not tell them the, the way of like i don't want i don't i want to give them the ingredients are the the um what is the formula on how to reach success instead of just talk just deleting the whole struggle and just talking about the ending like yeah i got money now i got girls i got this i got my whatever i got i want to give them the formula i want to let them journey with me on the way so they can see things like oh this is how it's done this is how it's done it's not all about this it's not all about this i can't go to the club every night if i want to try to be successful last year on my raw tours when i realized it and then Earlier this year, man, like I've always, um, I've always been kind of questionable of God. I've always, I've always believed, but I never knew exactly what to believe, like because there's so many religions going on and all this, and I'm like, man, how, how am I supposed to live? Like, what, what is right? What is wrong? How am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? In my heart, I've, I always wanted to do right. But I never knew what right was. I never, um, and I've always talked to a lot of people, and I just never knew. But it's weird. God reached down. He said, "Boom! This is what you are." And I was like, "Whoa!" Not literally, like I didn't fly him into the air. But that's what I. And this happened like a few months ago. Um, it's like it's like I just I just opened my eyes and I I saw everything different differently. And I was like, man, I. I'd actually feel bad now if I wrote a song that was like really negative and and had no positive meaning to it and I'm, that's never happened to me before and I nobody brainwashed me or got in my head or anything like that I just saw this new reality and I felt like I've been blinded and I t finally took the blindfold off and I'm, and I'm like man this is what's really going on and then there's been a lot of things that happened in my life since since I was a youngster up until now, and I didn't exactly know why they happened, but now that I'm older, I, I feel like God placed these little things and obstacles in my life. Like if I was um, five years old and something happened, if I was 10 years old and this thing happened and I was struggling, if I was 15 and this happened, and I was 20 and all these little things. I, and during the time I was confused, like, man, I don't know why I'm not doing this. Or I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just feel the need to do it. Now I feel like God is just telling me what I need to do, and He's He's showing me the light. So I'm just, and I've, I've been working on my relationship with God. And when you work on your relationship with God, it gets to a point where you don't want to walk down the sinful road anymore, you know? Because, you know, I'm I'm not trying to. I, I'm I still do because I'm, I'm human. But as my relationship gets closer to God, it, those things are just going to be cut off cut off in my life just naturally. I'm just going to be like I'm not I'm not going to want to do those things anymore because of what I'm becoming so I, and I'm not necessarily saying I'm, I'm going to be doing Christian music or music that always just talks about God and I'm always preaching but I I have found God and I see things differently like it's crazy to say but I've 
I had to find out the devil existed before I knew that God exists fully. And and it's, and it doesn't mean that I was a devil worshiper, but some people ignore the the good things and the, the great things that God does, but we're quick to believe in the Illuminati and be like, oh, you sold your soul. But how are you gonna believe if, if somebody sells their soul to the devil? There obviously has to be a God. They're at, like on the other side. There can't just this world just is a negative. There has to be a a, um, a positive side to that. So I saw all this negative stuff going on in the music industry. I see all the negativity that's going on in the world, and I'm like, man. There's something going on here that's deeper than any human could create in this world. Like the way people are acting, the music that's being played on the radio, the stuff that's on television. Why do like I'm a human? Why? How come in my mind all I think about is sex and money? How, like I'm a, that's what I think about sometimes. Like why am I driven so much by sex and money? How come that is all I want? Because I'm human and I'm in this society and that's all they that's all they like teach. They do it in a subliminal way. I mean, if you go to school, they don't obviously teach that. But as a society, like when you watch TV, all you see, you see sex. It's like TV shows are damn near like pornos now almost. It's like a few steps away from a porno. Yeah, we need to make a change while there's still time. It is hard, and sometimes I struggle trying to reveal mine. I can guide you if you feel blind. I just need you to be willing to journey into my ill mind. I feel like God is going, no, don't lose hope, because these humans are driven by the ways of the flesh. And they are all brainwashed and just, just God, God just saying, just stick with me, Marcus, and everything's going to be good. Just follow my lead and everything's going to be good. So, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. I, I talk a lot. I apologize. But, ah, no yeah, apologize. That, that's kind of what's going on right now, man. I'm, I'm just working on my relationship. And it may seem corny because we've been brainwashed to think that it's corny. When you think of somebody giving their life to God, you're like, oh, man, he's gone now. He ain't the same guy. Like, no. If God really does exist, if he is the creator of this whole universe and this world, then that means what like there's no there's what's wrong with that? What's wrong with glorifying the God of, of who created the earth? Like there's nothing wrong with that. This is the real reality. This is the real reality. I am showing love to my God and everybody should. Now I can see if I'm um if I'm going around like 24-7 just being that guy who tries to convert every single conversation into a Jesus conversation where it's like, hey man, how you doing? Yeah, God's great. Hey man, you wanna go skateboarding? God's great, man. You know, that's the man, that's the devil, man. Don't do that. Yo, man, you wanna go for a burger? Man, that's the devil. So, like, if I was that guy, they'd be like, okay, man, that's a little annoying, man. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, I feel I'm doing what's right, man. This, this, is, this is reality. God is real and I'm, I'm one of his children on the earth. This is reality. I'm not gonna ignore reality. You guys can be, you guys can live by the ways of men and and follow all this technology and all that and be driven by whatever you see. But I know in my heart that God exists and that's where I'm at right now. And you can deny it, but something's happening in this world. And the, world, the world's definitely going down. And yeah, it's about to pop off, son. So you better be ready. And I see girls, girls are crazy at shows like. When I go, when I go there, I want to be the, I want to be the bad guy. It, it, like the, the, there's the way, my fleshly side wants to be the bad guy. I want to, um, I want to be the guy who just does everything wild. But it, my heart won't allow me to do that though. And when I go in there, I'm like, ah, these girls, there's so many of them, and I could do whatever I want, but I can't. This, is, this isn't right. And because the girls, they're in the fake zone, and I'd be in the fake zone. I, I'm hopsing at my shows. These girls, they're not themselves when they're at home. They're not how they are when they're just normal. They, they come and they get a coat of starstruckness and then they become something that's fake. So then they're like, oh, there he is, oh my God. And, they, and, and when, they ha when they're in that zone, they almost do anything, whether it's giving somebody head or making out with them in the back of the show or jumping on stage and flashing their breasts. Like they'll do stuff like that because they get hit with that high jolt of adrenaline of, and energy and then they just don't know and then they might even go home and be like why did I flash the whole entire crowd for this rapper what was I thinking oh my god I hope that's not on Facebook my mother's gonna kill me if she sees and, but they're in that zone they're not thinking that at the time because it's fun and, and but I'm I try to keep that same state of mind I, I try to have that mindset to where it's like okay how am I gonna be when I go home what am I gonna think when I go home or the next day I, got, I put myself in that mind state so when I go to my shows, I'm just like, this isn't even real right now. These girls are fake, and I'm not gonna contribute to that. But yeah, man, all, all that money stuff, it's, it's like, it's just, life isn't about that. It, money is man-made, 
girls aren't man-made and they are wonderful too many girls in somebody's life can be bad because it, it can drive a man crazy it'll be a good kind of crazy but then it'll turn to a bad kind of crazy you're like oh all these girls yeah yeah and it'll be like ah because there's always that feeling afterwards where you're like oh, what am i doing man and everybody i know i know a lot of successful people who have it like that and they always say the same thing they, they've lived that life they've been through it but at the end it's just like man there, there's, there has to be something more like man there has to be something because it gets it gets played out. Yeah, it gets tired. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I become a freak of nature, all the kids stare. Who walk around bumping raw with the shit blaring, saying fuck school and dropping out like a miscarriage. I'm embarrassed, and I'm ashamed I played a part in this devilish game, making your common sense perish. But I ain't taking the full blame, cause most of you chumps running around here ain't never had strict parents. All of your brain cells rotting from weed. You feeling like if you ain't got it, life's not as complete. You having sex with every motherfucking body you see. With a past so dark that Satan to jump out of his seat. But still, you out in these streets thinking you hot as can be. Without the knowledge to lead, so you just follow the sheep. Making sure your lame swag is all polished and clean. While your favorite rapper's like, yeah, he got it from me. You been brainwashed by a fake life that you used to live in. When I say the word fun, what do you envision? Poly drinking and smoking out with your crew and chilling with clueless women. You trying to bang, bump a new edition. Is that all you think life really is? Well, if so, then you're a fucking idiot. I honestly feel like grabbing your head and hitting it. Matter of fact, you don't even deserve a brain. Give me it! Do you even have any goals aside from bagging these hoes and packing the ball? Well, let me guess. No, you're only in school because your parents make you go. And all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yo, society's got you living for a whack cause. You're a fucking adult with no skills at all. You don't read any books or play ball. You don't draw. You literally do nothing at all. Still you fiend for the glamorous fruits you don't have Cause you idolize rappers that do And all they say is I got money in a stack to the roof And now you think that it's gonna magically just happen to you? How? Your lazy ass don't commit to labor You pick something up, try it out, and put it down two minutes later Then you complain about your life cause it ain't getting catered Now whoever tries to call you on your bullshit's a hater? You wanna succeed, you have to try Or one day you'll get older and regret it all cause you can't provide Your friends are low lowlifes, don't act surprised Look, just cut the bad fruit off of the tree Make the sacrifice Girl Stop acting like you want a guy with traits like Romeo, bitch, that's a fucking lie You always talk about how every man's fake and you can't take it and you want something real Shut up, tramp, save it Twice a week you put on your makeup and damn bracelets and head to the club half naked with your ass shaking Pulling the lowlife nigga who claim he cash make it till you let him hit and find out he work at the gas station One of them niggas got you pregnant and you can't raise it but you caused it. Your actions made a fat statement. You want Romeo to knack patient and stop fronting like he in the club posted in the back waiting. It's the club where guys put on a new persona after they get loaded with a few coronas. They always shouting and wild out with habits that very few can donate. Then they look for beautiful brainless bitches like you to bone them. Then when they leave you, you cry and cry. Talking about, oh my god, I can't find a guy. I've spent so many years and I've tried and tried. Why am I even on earth? I should die. You want Romeo, you're not worthy. You're cock thirsty. You're nasty. And probably got herpes Sometimes the secret to find is to stop searching Try a new formula cause your last one's not working The term real niggas publicly used And I need to know what it means Cause I'm fucking confused Are you one for always busting your two With nothing to lose and something to prove The homies up in your crew Is it because you selling drugs to get loot And brag about how you done been shot and stabbed Like it's fun to be you But your life's a struggle right And you just hustling through Nah you hamster ass nigga You just stuck in the loop Then why do black people gotta be The only ones who can't evolve Cause you in the streets acting like a Neanderthal It's clear you can't stand the law You lost is in the band and dog And all you interested in is fighting, rapping and basketball I can't even fuck with you Cause if we out in public You gon' get caught stealing some shit And get my ass in trouble too You'll get old and be nothing Living life in these streets thugging And starting shit with anybody mean mugging Look at you, a real nigga Thinking your life's cool Girls used to turn me down for guys who were like you Till you grab their heart and shove a spearhead right through Then they regret it because it wasn't the right move your real nigga talk seems bogus A real nigga don't brag about being real as long as he knows it And his future doesn't seem hopeless A real nigga stays out of jail, handles shit and he keeps focused To all you rappers who soul is out in the wrong You inspire the issue I wrote about in this song You go to pile on the young who roam around in the slums See this is what happens when rap's overcrowded with bums Hope the hour is long when I'm rolling out with your tongue The man above is my guide, you know the power is strong All you menace and freaks are only in it for cheese And the mass control limit was breached Fuck hip hop they only in it for cheese And any eyewitness can see They purposely making the innocent weak My existence on this planet's for you I ain't only here to benefit me Yo, we need to make a change while there's still time It is hard and sometimes I struggle trying to reveal mine I can guide you if you feel blind I just need you to be willing to journey into my ill mind